hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we would be talking about sap database tables related to purchasing so let's start so talking about material master data these are some of the very important tables which we should remember the first one is mara which has the general data and material type uh, information MAKT has short tests and descriptions. MARM stores the conversion factors. MVKE has the sales organization and distribution channel information. MLAN has the sales data and the tax indicator. MARC has the classification data. MBEW has the plant planning data. MLGN has the valuation data, MLGT has the warehouse management inventory data. If you talk about MVER, it has the warehouse management storage type, MARD has the consumption data, MCHA has the pointer for forecast data and MCHB has the storage location data. Now if you talk about purchasing these are some of the very important tables that you should remember ekpo has the purchasing document item level data ekko has the purchasing document header data eban is for purchase requisition ekb is the purchase order history details eket has the scheduling agreement schedule lines data eine has the information about purchasing info record EINA has the general data for PIR. EKKN has the information of account assignment in purchasing document. EKES has the vendor confirmations. EKBN has the account assignment data for purchase requisition. EORD has the information about uh, source list. T024 has the information about purchasing groups. EKBZ has the information about history of the purchasing documents related to delivery costs. AMPL is the table for approved manufacturer parts. EKAN has the vendor address of the purchasing document. If you talk about inventory management, some of the important tables are MSEG for the document segment material. So MSEG has the item level data. MKPF has the header of the material document. RESP is for reservation. MARI has the short document of material movement. ISEG is the physical inventory document items. RKPF is the document header of reservation. For movement type, we have T156. IKPF is the header of physical inventory document. T156 T has the text suited to movement type. CHVW is the table for batch values list. T165 SY has movement type details. T156 S is also related to movement type with respect to quantities and T156W and T156M has the posting strings data. Lastly, talking about invoice control, we have these important tables. RSEG is the document item of the invoice. RBKP is the document header of the invoice receipt. BSIM has the secondary index documents for material. RKWA has consignment withdrawals. RBCO is document item incoming invoice account assignment. T149 D has the global valuation information. RBTX has the taxes of the incoming invoice. RBWS has the withholding tax data. RBKBB has information about invoice document header. And lastly, we have RBEX, which is the persistent key figures header and item. So that is all in this video. In the next video, we will be going inside the SAP system and checking all these tables we would understand the attributes of these tables and what are the important fields that each table has so if you got value from this video do like comment and share with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or feedback share them in the comment section below till we meet again next time you all take care and goodbye